Greetings, good life. This is Grandfather. Now, I said a while back that I would do some predictions for places, and today's the day. Now, this is going to sound general, but it isn't. For the northern hemisphere of Earth, in general, I'm going to make recommendations for people, businesses, organizations, and so on. This is a time to be more mobile. All right? That doesn't necessarily mean that everybody has to have a car. But be aware of your transportation and how to get about and make sure all of the people in your organization or your family, or your friends, of course, know how to get about and have a way to go. There may be times coming up within the next four or five years when you want to go someplace rapidly. So people in the transportation business try to have your machines in good shape so that they can make extra trips if necessary and uh, a little more. If you're thinking about buying a home or a business or property for any reason, I wouldn't sign up for any 50-year mortgages or 30-year mortgages. It's probably a better time for businesses to rent or lease. And for people to purchase things, it's probably a better time in general for you to coordinate your purchases with others. If you're going to purchase a home, say, then you're going to want to acquire that home in portions, meaning, say it's a family, a big family. So uh, you might buy a big house and one part of the family lives in one part of the house and one part of the family lives in the other part of the house. You know, that's not news. But I'm going to say again, if you already have a house and there's space, it would probably be better to add something on. You can see what I'm suggesting. It's not a good time in the Northern Hemisphere, generally speaking, the Northern Hemisphere, to be purchasing anything for the long run. Rather, be thinking in terms of the short run and be thinking in terms of mobility. What can I buy that I can easily move? It's going to be a mobile time. And this has to do with the next five to seven years. I'm going to stretch that out a bit. I know I said a little shorter time, but I'm going to stretch that out to five to seven years. After seven years, you probably won't be as mobile. Or you won't have to be. All right? So, there's that. Now a few specific places. There's going to be some upheavals, not necessarily with violence, but politically speaking, in Italy. So, generally speaking, I want to accentuate what I said before about being mobile in Italy. You're going to want to be thinking those of you who can do it, of moving south. If you get to the water, you're going to have to go across the water and continue to move south. You don't absolutely have to do that, but if you can move further south, then go ahead. For those of you in the north, in Italy, be thinking about moving to the south of Italy, or whatever you can do there. Again, I'm not saying it's going to be violent, but it may be uncomfortable. 
That's pretty important to note. And this for the next two or three years. There will be things that will come to be known that will be a bit upsetting. And uh, this is the sort of thing that comes about when secrets have been kept for too long. And in some cases, it seems like the opportunity presented itself maybe 10, 15 years ago, to expose the secrets and say, there it is, and I'm sorry, and and I hope everything gets better, and whatever prayers you might want to say about that. But now that opportunity has passed, and the opportunity to uh, reveal things without uh, too much fuss has also passed, and it won't show up again probably for quite a while. So those of you who have things you have to reveal, it will be safe to reveal them. All right, in Italy. It will be safe to reveal them before too long. Wait until the mid to latter part of 2013. All right then it will be safe to reveal them. Okay, this is for individuals, organizations, businesses, whoever. Okay, so that's what I have to say about that. Now a few other places in France, for example. There's going to be a lot of motion. People migrating out of France, while at the same time people migrating in even though you might want to restrict government, you might want to restrict people migrating in, they're going to do so in the usual way that you find so annoying, and that's that they'll come in on a vacation and they'll just stay. All right? This happens the world over, and governments find it very annoying. So I'm going to make a suggestion. As long as the people do not represent any danger to you and your society, I say just let it go. Because in the long run, and all right, the long run means the next 20 to 40 years, it won't make any difference. All right? And for those that migrate out, well, uh, so long, uh, glad you could stay here and that's that. Don't try to hold people. So lots of people coming and going much more than usual. So those of you in the hotel business, be alert. It might be a good time to uh, convert those rooms that you're using for storage back into uh, rooms that people can stay in. All right, a little more. Russia. You've had... uh, so much upheaval, more than your share, as you might say. But, uh, again, the upheaval now will, again, have to do with people generally moving south, although there will be quite a rush by people to go north because of discoveries there. Those discoveries will have to do with things that are generally valued, Commodities, all right? You've had a rush a while back, and you're going to have another one. So those of you who are in the uh, business, you might say, of keeping things calm and uh, organized, you're going to have to gear up. This rush is going to happen over the next three years, and it's going to have to do entirely with commodities. So other than people sort of drifting to the south, moving south, the uh, mass of uh, people moving to the north to uh, get those commodities or work for those who have them is going to be much more so than you've seen before. So be prepared for that. Now, Canada. This is a time in Canada when you expected to uh, be very well off 
in terms of stability and uh, long-range planning so that uh, citizens would be in good shape, be able to handle things. But unfortunately, world situations are going to have an impact. So keep your financial district or move it, in some cases, to the East Coast. Not right on the coast, but in general, towards the East. All right? And you won't be sorry. Now, there's more. I'm sorry to say that even though I'm predicting things for the East Coast, in the middle sections of Canada, and slightly east of there, but not too much. You're going to have a little more earthquake uh, things going on. This may not have to do so much with what you are doing, but to the south of you in the continental United States, they're doing things underground that are just making problems. And unfortunately, it's going to be visited on your doorstep. So, there's not going to be too much you can do about that, though uh, lawyers and diplomats might put their heads together to see if things can get better. So, be open to that possibility. It could mean, ultimately, income for Canada. So, just know that. Now, a little more in the Northern Hemisphere, and then we'll move on. Those of you in the continental U.S., generally speaking, you're going to have a feeling that it's time to move to the south. If you're going to move to the south, you're probably going to be drawn, a great many of you, no matter what part of the northern continental U.S. you're in, you're going to find that you're drawn to the southeastern part of the United States, even though you can make a strong argument against it, what with hurricanes and all of that. But you're going to feel drawn there. For those of you who feel mobile, just go there. You don't have to go all the way to Florida. You can stop in Tennessee if you like. It's just going to be something that comes up strongly for a lot of you, and not just to flee the winter. It's going to come up strongly for you. And if it does, just do it. There will have been a few people who've moved from the south up north, but you'll find that that pull to the south is going to be strong. Don't ignore it. For those of you that have that pull, it's a good thing to acknowledge and to go ahead and do. Now, a little more. There are situations that you understand in the news that are problematic, and there are no immediate solutions. The big problem has to do with radiation, and there are things in place to uh, remediate it, to make it better, and people are making huge efforts to bring that about, but it will take time. So, all of you in the fishing business, you know full well that fishing in the Pacific especially is not very encouraging. And uh, there are other parts of the waters that's not too encouraging either. So, fishermen move south. All right? The further south you get in the Pacific, the better it's going to be, but it'll mean long journeys. Still, it would be worthwhile. And now that I'm in the south, I want to say a little more. But I'll save that for next time. Good night.